10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and good evening. My name is Stephen Boynton. I'm one of the consultants of the Sino-American Educational Research Association. And on behalf of SARA, it is my honor to welcome you to this, the sixth installment, the series of talks, Love, Unity, Peace, and Hope for the Betterment of the Global Village, the first US-China non-governmental public forum series on international collaboration in an era of pandemic. Welcome. As all of us know, the world is facing one of the greatest challenges it has ever seen, the COVID-19 pandemic. More than 200 countries have been affected, currently the US to the greatest extent. There have been, at this point, too many deaths to name, and too many people made sick. These numbers are not simply numbers, they represent human beings and human lives, and because of that, they implicate the lives of many, many more people. The families, the friends, the colleagues, the institutions at which those people worked. All of us have been affected to one degree or another, and we will all be affected to an even greater degree before this is done. The current numbers indicate that the world has already slid into the greatest recession that it has seen since the Great Depression of the early 20th century economic turmoil, financial difficulties, the loss of jobs, the difficulties we are facing seem to grow and grow. On top of this, here in the US, we are confronting a long and painful legacy of racism. Protests against police brutality, against the inequality and justice have spread throughout the country and show no signs of stopping until the problems they pro they're protesting are truly and finally dealt with. In such times, we must rise to new levels of compassion, to new levels of understanding and kindness. We must rise to new levels of justice and self-sacrifice. We must show goodwill towards the people of every country in the world, of every race, of every creed, of every language, everybody. We are suffering together now as one world, and we will only get out of this difficulty when we accept that we are one world and face the problems accordingly. International conflicts, political divisions, and all other forms of blame and turning against one another have served only to make these, this crisis worse. In these times, we must rise above what we have been and work together towards a better world. It is in the spirit of that kind of working together that the SARA has begun this series of lectures, Love, Unity, Peace, and Hope for the Betterment of the, of the Global Village. The forum will last for a total of 15 weeks. We're currently in week six, from July 4th to October 17th, with a total of 18 Chinese and American experts. We sincerely hope that by having an ongoing in-depth discussion, we can promote authentic exchanges between people of various groups. We can promote dialogue, unite people, and work together against the crises that are facing us. Today, we are very pleased and honored to have two distinguished speakers with us from Loyola University, Chicago, Dr. Sing Ho Moon, Dr. Charles Tachi. Dr. Singh Hamoun is an associate professor at Loyola University of Chicago. He earned his PhD from Teachers College, Columbia University. His scholarship visits non-Eurocentric literature to develop multiplicities of knowledge and epistemology. Confucianism, Taoism, Buddhism, and other Eastern thoughts become the foundation of cross-cultural conversations promoting equity and other issues. He currently serves as the chair of the Confucianism Taoism and Buddhism in Education, SIG, of the American Educational Research Association. Singha is an associate editor of the Multicultural Education Review and an executive board member of the Korean Association for Qualitative Inquiry. Uh, he has published two peer-reviewed academic books. The first one, Three Approaches to Qualitative Research Through the Arts Initiative, Narratives of Teaching for Social Justice, and as a co-editor, the Curriculum Foundation's Reader, addre um, which addresses historical analysis of major curriculum issues, including choice, resistance, voice, 
and language. He has published more than 30 peer-reviewed journal, peer journal articles and other uh, scholarly work. He grew up in South Korea and studied philosophy and theology, educational foundations and curriculum and pedagogy. Today with Dr. Sing Hamun, we also had Dr. Charles Tachi. He received his PhD from Teachers College, Columbia University, and he currently serves an assistant professor in the School of Education at Loyola University, Chicago. His research interests lie in history and civics education, teachers practice, and education and the educational history archives. His work explores the connections between, and between American education and democracy in the past and in the present. He is currently focused on the ways that teaching practice changes in international and intentional, responsive, and sustained ways. In collaboration with a team of educational historians, archivists, and curators, he is working to develop an international and interdisciplinary knowledge uh, network to improve the preservation, collection, and writing of urban public education's history. He received the Public Voices Thought Leadership Fellowship Award at Loyola University of Chicago in 2018. We're also very honored today to have two discussants for our talk. Our first discussant is Dr. Guofang Wan. She received her PhD from the Pennsylvania State University and her master's degrees from the University of Warwick in the United Kingdom and Shanghai International Studies University. She is currently serving as a professor and chair of teaching and learning at Loyola University of Chicago. Her career includes 25 years of teaching, research, and administration in universities such as Virginia Commonwealth University, the University of West Florida, and Ohio University. Her research has received several national uh, awards, including the Margaret B. Lindsay Award for Distinguished Research in Teacher Education from the American Association of Colleges for Teachers Education for research over the last decade with, made, with a major impact on the field of teacher education, and the fourth annual Media Literacy Award from the National Council of Teachers of English for persistent, innovative, and imaginative application of media analysis and media composition in English studies. Dr. Wan served as the book series editor for the Chinese American Educational Research and Development Association, which is published by Information Age Publishing. And last but certainly not least, we have Dr. Melissa McCoy, who currently serves as the internship coordinator for Tougaloo College in Tougaloo, Mississippi. Prior to taking that position, Dr. McCoy served as the district graduation coach at Heinz University College in Raymond, and as an academic dean and lead instructor at Virginia College in Jackson, Mississippi. She has served as an, as an assistant adjunct professor of psychology at Tougaloo College and Strayer University in Jackson, Mississippi, and also founded the McCoy Consultation Group in 2010. Her professional career outside of academia includes providing mental health services for individuals throughout central Mississippi, where she has served as a mental health therapist, behavioral specialist, program director, foster care counselor, and compliance specialist. She completed a doctoral degree in urban higher education at Jackson State University. So for today's program, we're going to have about 50 minutes of discussion by our two distinguished speakers, which will be followed by about 15 minutes of response and discussion by the discussant, and then another period of about 15 minutes of Q&A at the very end. If you do have any questions, please have them ready in advance and send them in through the chat box. Our discussion facilitator will collect all your questions and forward them to the MC. Thank you. Also, just to let everyone know, we will be conducting this entire event today in English. However, if you need to read Chinese, there is a Chinese translation available. You can read the subtitles as we go along. With that preliminary material got taken care of, let me warmly welcome our two speakers today. Drs. Sing Hamun and Charles Tachi.